come across a situation where you need to put yourself on the line and you don't know what to do, there's a little something inside you that will always help you find courage. And that's what this young man is going to show you. His name is Roy. Slept in again, huh? I spent last night trying to figure out how to defy posed uses of. Oh my God! You spent all last night doing homework. Jeez, Roy! One of these days you're gonna kill yourself. Face it, Rock. I suck. No, Roy, you do not suck. You're just not trying hard enough. I don't know, Rock. Maybe I just suck at trying harder. Roy, what am I gonna do with you? Rats, I'm gonna be late again. Tony! Here. Caught up! Here. Roy, it's no use. I already know you're late. I'm sorry, Mr. Sato. I know I've been late for the fifth time, but... Roy, your counselor says you're failing, and you may not make it to the 12th grade. Please, Mr. Sato, I don't want to fail the 11th grade. Well, Roy, your counselor says you can make up your failing credits if you can finish one book report and hand it in by Monday. By Monday? He's got to... Roy, it's the only chance you've got. I suggest you stop complaining and get it done this weekend. You may go back to your seat now. It's just got worse. yourself. I haven't thought about it, Rock. Roy, you should. Come on, go talk to her right now. Alright, alright, I'll go. Yo, Roy, aren't you? Yeah, I guess if you mean from this morning. Yeah, I'm Roy. I'm Cora. Yeah, I know, you sit two desks across from me. I guess that Mr. Sato is one hard cookie when it comes to attendance, huh? Yeah, you could say that again. 
I don't like him much either. I don't get him in their right mind would hire a stripper. Tell me about it. <laughs> Hi, Roy, my best friend in the whole world. Hey, did you meet my friend? I was just talking to him. He seems like a nice guy. Yeah, but my friend is always late. That's why I keep telling him to set his alarm, but he doesn't listen. Don't you, Roy? Roy, 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 Roy. Hello, Roy, I'm talking to you. Don't touch me! But you're my friend, aren't you, Roy? You and I were never friends, you fat jerk! What did you call me? You heard me, you fat jerk! Quit talking to me like I'm stupid! Who the hell gives you the right to treat me a car this way, huh? You guys were standing in my way. That's what you did to me. Look around, you Cole. We got plenty of room to move about. You could have asked to move. Roy, you're too stupid to ask. <laughs> Roy, if you really are mad at me, why don't you fight me, huh? Are you gonna fight me? Come on, I'll kick your butt. Fight me. Come on, you don't wanna fight me? Come on, fight. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Pop, knock it off! <laughs> Roy, you and I are gonna finish this, whether you like it or not. You don't have to fight him. I don't think I have much of a choice, Rock. It's either fight him, or he'll continue to harass us for the rest of our lives. I have a brother who's a skilled expert in Taekwondo. No, Rock, I have to deal with this myself. How may I help you, young man? Do you have any storybooks or something? Storybooks, huh? Yes, I may have something for a young man like you. Now, let's see here. Where to find a good story? Hmm. I can't seem to find anything. Darn this whole thing. I've got something that I think you might enjoy. The Amazing Adventures of Master Fox. Are you serious? Yeah, I know it looks like a sixth grade read, but it's full of adventures and Master Fox is so cool. But he's an animal. What makes him so cool? What makes him so cool? Why, he's a highly skilled sword fighter who fights for justice. I figured you'd need to hear a little heroism. Why would you figure that? I heard about what happened at recess this morning. I understand I got a problem, but that doesn't mean you should feel sorry for me. I've already got myself in a barrel of trouble, and I don't need to be reminded of my actions. I'm not offering you my sympathy, Roy. I'm offering you my book. I'm sorry. I just got a lot to deal with right now. Take good care of yourself, Roy. Okay, what's right about this book? Oh my god, where's my stuff? I can't listen now. This is not happening to me. Swell, I try to fix something and this is what I get. What are you trying to fix? Oh, I was working on my homework and... Wait a minute. Where did you come from? Kid, I come from all over. Bunkley's the name, and you are? I'm Roy, and... Wait, aren't you a character from the story I'm reading? Gee, I'm really that popular, huh? How'd I get here, anyway? How should I know? The only time I ever saw you was just now. After the force, I have no idea how to get back. Why don't you come back to me? I guess I have nowhere else to go, why not? Yeah, now you're talking, kid. Oops, I mean Roy. Hey, Lila. We have a tourist among us in the woods. Don't worry about it. There's enough tea to go around. Come on, you ninny. Don't be shy. What? So, you must be the tourist of these woods, yes? Well, kind of. Not really. By the way, my name is Roy. 
Well then, Sir Roy, why don't you help yourself to some fresh brewed tea? I'm back, everyone. Is the tea ready? It's just finished, Colin. Holy crap! You're the hero for my book! Well, I appreciate your compliments, but I might got your name. He's Roy. I found him lost in the woods. That's alright, Bunkley. He's always welcome here. Roy, perhaps you would care to join us by the lake? Well, I am feeling rather hot. I might as well get wet. Hey, I think I like him already. Well, I have to deal with this kid who wants to fight me. Why would he want to fight you? You see, he was acting like a big jerk in front of me, and this girl... <sighs> Maybe I was just being stupid as usual. No, Roy, you are not stupid! You were just listening to your heart. Your heart was telling you to stop that boy because you know he doesn't have the right to treat you that way. Maybe it was right for me to say that. You just need a little courage. It's the only way you're going to go through with a situation like that. But how can I achieve this courage? It just so happens that I need your help. My help? Yes, Roy. You're going to help me free some prisoners. But I don't know anything about rescuing people. That's why Bunkley, Lila, and I are going to help you. Now ready yourself, because things are going to get rough. Oh boy! Mm -hmm. 